Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to another children's message and virtual Sunday school video. If you haven't seen videos before, my name is Lauren. I am the children's and youth director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington, and I'm so glad that you could join me this morning. Today we're going to be talking about keeping watch and being ready and what that means and what Jesus has to say about it. So get the kids, get a comfy seat and hang out with me for the next few minutes. We'll do a children's message and then we'll go into the virtual Sunday school stuff too. All right, let's go. Okay, so we are talking about being prepared, being ready. And one way that I stay prepared and ready is that I always have a flashlight in my apartment. I keep this flashlight so that if the lights go out, I'm able to find my way around and see in the dark. Um, and the flashlight is always in the same place. I keep it in a cupboard in my kitchen so that I know exactly where to find it when I need it. And another way that I have to stay ready and prepared with my flashlight is that I have to make sure that the batteries are working. I've got to check them every once in a while to make sure that my flashlight will actually turn on when I need it, right? So let's check my batteries right now. Oh, yep, it works. I'm good for a while, right? <laughs> um, but if the batteries were dead, what would I need to do? I would need to change them out, right? So I need to make sure that I have extra batteries on hand that are fresh and ready to go. So when you think of it this way, if the lights went out and I have this flashlight, great. If it had dead batteries in it, it wouldn't be any help to me, right? So especially if I didn't have any extra batteries to replace them with, I would kind of be stuck in the dark then. Well, in the time that Jesus lived, they didn't have uh, flashlights or batteries, um, but instead to light up their houses at night and see in the dark, they used oil lamps with oil that um, powered them. And just like it's important for us to have extra batteries on hand for our flashlights, it was important for them back then to have a good supply of oil on hand to uh, power their lamps, to power their light, um, so they wouldn't get stuck in the dark. One day, Jesus was telling his disciples a story, and he used a story using oil lamps to teach them how important it was for them to be prepared for him to return, for the day that he would return. In the story, there was a wedding about to happen. Exciting, right? The bride had 10 bridesmaids. That's a lot of bridesmaids. And the tradition was they were, they were waiting for the bridegroom, the groom, to come and take them to his house where the wedding would take place. So they were waiting for the groom. Uh, weddings in those days were almost always at nighttime, and the bridesmaids would light their lamps and lead the bride to the house of the bridegroom. And Jesus said that while, while they were waiting for the bridegroom, the ten bridesmaids became tired and they fell asleep. He must have been taking a long time. Um, and then suddenly someone shouted, oh, he's coming, the bridegroom is coming, come out and meet him here. And so all the bridesmaids jumped up and they started to get their lamps ready. Five of the bridesmaids hadn't brought any extra oil and they didn't have enough to light their lamps. So they were in the dark. The other five had very wisely brought extra oil. So they were very well prepared and they lit their lamps and they were ready to go. The foolish ones who didn't bring any extra oil asked to borrow some of the oil but the wise ones were afraid that there wouldn't be enough for them. So they said, go buy some more oil to the other five. And while they were gone shopping for oil, the bridegroom came and there were only five bridesmaids there ready. So they went off to him to the, or off with him to the wedding feast with their lamps lit because they were ready to go. When the foolish ones bought more oil and finally made their way back to the house, it was too late. The door had already been closed and locked and they had missed the wedding. Bummer, right? Jesus told his followers, the disciples, so, like in the story, you have to be ready because you don't know when I'm going to return. In the story that Jesus told, the bridegroom is Jesus and you and I are the bridesmaids. 
Do you think we are the wise ones or the foolish ones? Well, Jesus told us that he is going to come again, and that if we are wise, we would be ready for his return. So we want to be like the wise bridesmaids who had plenty of extra oil and were ready to go when the bridegroom, the bridegroom showed up, right? So what can we do to make sure we are ready for when Jesus comes again? Well, we can read his word, that's the Bible, do what it says, obey him, and put our trust into him. If we do that, we're going to be ready. That's our extra oil. Uh, we'll be ready uh, to oil our lamps and, and take off with the bridegroom when he comes, to follow Jesus when he comes. We're going to have oil in our lamp and our light will be shining brightly to show others the way to him. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's pray and then we'll move on to uh, the virtual Sunday school segments of our video today. So please hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me and let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we want to be ready when Jesus comes again. Help us to have extra batteries or extra oil on hand for our flashlights and our lamps so that um, we are ready and waiting and can follow him wherever he takes us. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, up next, we're going to read the lesson right out of the Bible. Okay, so we're going to read right out of the Bible our passage for this lesson today. And we're reading from Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13. If you're following along in a children's Bible, it's probably titled, Jesus Tells the Parable of the Ten Bridesmaids. But you can find it by that scripture reference usually as well. So let's read. And this is Jesus speaking this whole lesson. He's telling a story, a parable. The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of ten bridesmaids who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The five were foolish, who were foolish didn't take enough olive oil for their lamps, but the other five were wise enough to take along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight they were roused by the shout, Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out and meet him. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We don't have enough for all of us. Go to the shop and buy some for yourselves. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was locked. Later, when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he called back, Believe me, I don't know you. So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. Okay, so next segment, we are going to uh, talk over some discussion questions for you guys to do at home. Okay, so now I have some discussion questions for you guys to go through as a family. Um, I often do uh, younger or questions for younger kids and older kids, but today they're all just mixed together. So you guys can uh, pick and choose what works for you guys at home. Um, and these are just jumping off points. So wherever the conversation takes you is great. I hope it uh, kind of fosters some good discussion as a family together about today's lesson. So uh, you'll also be able to find these listed on the downloadable PDF that you'll find in the video description box um, and wherever we post this video. So if you want to download or print that out and work off of that at home, you can do that as well. So today I have six questions for you. Uh, so let's get into them. Number one is anything at your house always ready to go? Kind of like my flashlight. Question number two is a two-parter. How many bridesmaids were ready and got to go to the party? And then why did some of the bridesmaids miss the party? Number three, what have you missed out on because you weren't there or you weren't ready when something happened? 
Number four, Jesus told this story to remind people to be ready for God at all times. Who helps you to be ready to see God in your life? Number five, what do you think heaven is like? Is it like a wedding party? And then number six, last question, how can you be ready for Jesus? What are your extra batteries or your extra oil? So those are the, are the discussion questions for today's lesson. I hope we can get some good discussion going at home together. Next up uh, is prep time. All right, it's craft time, super fun. Okay, so as always, I have a coloring page for you and I actually have a few options. I only brought one with me today. Uh, but in the PDF, there will be a link to some printable coloring pages all about the parable of the 10 bridesmaids, which is pretty cool. But this is the one I brought with me today um, and it's an oil lamp and there are five spaces where you can uh, write in how you can be prepared, which is pretty cool, right? So. That's today's coloring page, and there's a few other coloring pages available on that link, so go there to check that out. Uh, and then for the actual craft today, it's a pretty fun one. I'm excited about it. You're going to need some crayons or markers, the stuff that you color with, um, and then you can use whatever you would like to decorate uh, with. So you can get stickers or glitter, glitter glue, any, any of that type of stuff. Uh, that is totally up to you and what you have on hand at home you can use to decorate. Uh, you're going to need the printout of our flashlight outline. Uh, you'll find that in the downloadable PDF as well. And if you look closely uh, across the top, it says trust and follow. And then on the handle, it says watch and be ready. So this is going to turn into a bookmark to remind us to keep our batteries uh, renewed to keep our batteries fresh, to have some extra oil on hand and to trust and follow God and to watch and be ready for him. Pretty cool, right? So you're gonna need that uh, printout there um, and it works really well if you print it out on like cardstock or thicker paper. If you don't have access to a printer, you can draw your own uh, um, um, flashlight, I forgot the word flashlight for a second. You can draw your own flashlight and cut it out on heavy paper like cardstock or construction paper and then you can use colored paper as well. I'm just using white so then I could color it in with my crayons. Um, you're going to need a hole punch, um, a pair of scissors, and then a few different lengths of yellow yarn. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out your flashlight, which I've already done previously, and you're going to color it and decorate it however you would like. So I've done that here. I just did some color blocks, which I thought was cute. Then you're going to take a hole punch and you're going to hole punch a hole right there at the very top, like where the light shines out. And what you're going to do with your yellow yarn, I've already done a little bit, is you're going to tie it at the top, like you know how bookmarks have some yarn at the top sometimes. You're going to tie a few different lengths of yarn on there and then it looks like your flashlight's turned on because of the yellow the yellow yarn, right? They're like um, beams of light coming out of your flashlight. Pretty cool. So I have another an extra one to add to make it a very bright uh, flashlight. So I'll add my last one here and show you guys my finished product. All right. So there's my flashlight bookmark. Pretty cool, right? And I'm going to stick this in the book that I'm currently reading so that I will remember to watch and be ready and trust and follow Jesus. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Uh, the next segment, we'll be closing in prayer together. All right, guys, that's all I have for you this morning. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your time with the lesson, the discussion questions, and that fun craft for this morning. If you want to show me your finished craft, I would love to see them. Have your parents take a picture and tag us in the com or tag us in the comments, or post a picture and tag us in it. We'd love to see it. Um, I hope 
that this lesson carries you through your week and we remember to watch and be ready for Jesus. Uh, don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. If you haven't already, you can catch Pastor Gibbs sermon there. And yeah, that's it. Let's close in prayer together and I'll let you go. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning where we gather either in person or virtually to worship and praise you and learn more about you. Um, help us keep this lesson close to our hearts so that we can be ready. We'll watch and be ready. Help us to um, dive headfirst into your word and know it, obey it, uh, and trust in Jesus and follow him when he comes to take us into the marriage space, to take us into the party so that we are included. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, have a great day and a great week ahead of you. I'll see you next time. Bye.